half, and we got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under Featured Content, Mastering Probability. You just hit that button. You hit that subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, and Steve has a huge amount of tools that he allows you to use as he uses each and every day right on his website. So as soon as you get the newsletter, bottom line, you get the tools, you get the whole ball of wax, and you are running around this market. And, uh, you know, we got a market. There's no doubt about that, man. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? It is absolutely all about belief. Yes. Uh, there's a famous guy uh, I have a lot of respect for. I think he says, what you think about, you bring about, what you focus on grows. <laughs> yeah. And it works. That's, oh, it, the, that's the thing. That's amazing. Folks, who knows how it works, but it works. We've all done it. Think about something yes. for a second. Just, you know, as g going through life, think about what you've thought about sometimes, and it comes true. And you don't have to bring it any further. Life is, you know, life's not simple, but life is simple in, in ways like that. Because why think further? It, it worked, right? No, it, 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 ha look, it happened to me on Friday. All of a sudden, the last minute, I said, you know, I, I need to get a haircut sometime. And, uh, and, I, and I, you know, my guy had a free half hour, what have you. And he said, you know, I was just thinking about you this morning. Wow. <laughs> you know, there's that is example. so cool, man. Golfers, right? They did a great golf tournament at the PGA this weekend. Oh. And when you hear them, they, you know, they all have, look, we all have to have skills for sure. Yes. And, he, you know, if you don't have any skills, you, but, you know, when you do have those skills and being able to put those to use, you have to have total belief. Nobody stands out of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, getting ready to swing. And, and if they don't have the belief that they can hit that shot. There's no doubt. And that right? was a golf tournament. If you didn't oh, see this goodness. golf tournament, folks, coming into the close, it was amazing. It's it, like a boxing, you know, match, back and forth, back oh, and forth, back and forth, right? Is, that was, it, and of course, yeah. I always think of you when they're on. It's just so funny. I mean, because we both know we're watching. You know, it's just, it just funny. But the lineup board, what happens, folks, is that when you're coming in the last three holes and the lineup board, everyone's within one. It's awesome because it's like, oh, my God. You know it what I mean? Been cool. The PGA, one of the cool things about the PGA tournament is when it goes to overtime, if yes. you will, if there's a tie, it's a best of three holes. Oh, I was and wondering that because they yeah. showed that before that. I, you know, I, oh, I, did I, they? Okay, I, okay. No, yeah. but I didn't know. I thought that was the old thing. Do you know what I mean? They showed it on there of the, the three holes with Tiger uh, Woods got, yes, in yes, 2000, yes, okay, okay. and I didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, that would have been a trip, man. Yeah, which, yeah. which uh, yeah, so, you know, and uh, Xander, he was like, I have to win it now. I don't want to go three holes yes. against, you know, against Bryson. Uh, you know, so just a great tournament. But but what you said at the beginning, it's just so important, you know, for people to, to truly wrap their head around it and believe it no matter what it is that they're doing. You've got to have beliefs. I don't know if that was from a card that, you, you know, your four agreements card or, or what have you. But, but that it's, one's it's, not. That was okay. just. Yeah, and you know, it's kind of intriguing, isn't it? It's like Tom O'Brien. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it's all, we know it's the same concept, though, right? I mean, oh, we've totally. all taken plenty of classes, or uh, uh, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's it, it, the bottom line, folks. It works. I, you know, I agree. I common agree. sense so, is is pretty cool, yeah, man. Yeah. So I thought I'd do is just take a quick overview with you. We, we if we have got a few moments, we'll go to the live charts to see where we're at. But uh, I've got many of the U.S. and international indices suggesting that a top will be forming. So I heard at the beginning of your show, you've got some failures on price and volume. Yes. Some of the indexes and, and uh, ETFs out there. So for the U.S. equities, the, the ES mini, and these are the daily time frames that we're looking at, the ES mini, the NQ, and the Dow, the YM, they all have uh, TD9 count tops. The interesting thing is the Russell 2000 does not have any kind of top just yet. If we were to get a bearish reversal candle, then I'd have a sell the D point, which would be nice because then we'd have all four in in unison out there. Yes. If we take a look at internationally, now the Shanghai index last night negated its TD9 count top. So that no longer has a top. The Hang Seng uh, actually went ahead and formed its TD9 count top. So that suggests that price should pull back to about the 19120 level. The Nikkei is trading in a descending price channel to the downside, and price found resistance in essence right at the top of that channel. The FTSE in the UK has a TD9 count top. The DAX has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Now, in the case of the DAX, we need to see it close below 18705 or price start trading below that. Okay. 
get downside traction. So overnight, you know, when people wake up in the morning, they can see how the DAX is trading. If it's below 18,705, um, where the DAX, as, as you pointed out to me, which is very cool, the DAX and the NDX 100 have such a good correlation. So yes. if we, you know, wake up in the morning, you start looking at your screens, four, five, six, whatever time it might be. If prices trade below 18,705, that's just another indication that the NDX 100. Uh, should be forming a top. And if we take a look at daily T9 count tops, they're present in the spies, in the Qs, the Dow Diamonds. The uh, Now, the XL cat, I don't know where it's trading right now, Tom, but if it closes above 213.81, it will negate its TD9 count top. And that's the number one sector inside the S&P 500. So that close is interesting. The financial sector, that's got a TD9 count top. That should take price back to about 41.50, uh, 41.75. The communication sector if it closed the day above 82.69, and I know it was trading above that maybe about 15, 20 minutes ago, that would negate its TD9 count top. The real estate sector's got a TD9 count top. The SMHs, unless they close above 235.11, they've got a TD9 count top. And gold also has one at 24.2740. So if today's close is above that level, which it looks like it may be, it'll negate that signal window. When a TD9 count top gets negated, especially when it's almost like right away, in the case of gold that formed on, on Friday, it tells you about a very strong upward momentum move to the upside. Now, you didn't need me to tell you that. Um, you know, you've been telling that to, to listeners on the show. Uh, several of the NDX 100 top weighted stocks have got TD9 count tops. Microsoft would be negated with a close above 425.42. Uh, Apple was trading. I don't know if it's still trading to above 196.65, but that's okay. a TD9 count top level. NVIDIA has a sell the D point top. I think they're out with earnings. Uh, either Tomorrow, today or, uh, Wednesday. To, yep. Uh, Wednesday. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see how that trades. Avgo's got a TD9 count top, as does Pepsi. Now, Netflix is going to negate its topping signal. That's suggesting that this should continue to move higher. Uh, Cisco's got a nice TD9 count top. The GDX, much like gold, it has one. It formed on Friday. And so it closed above 36.89 today, which it looks like that's already in the bag. I mean, we've got 35 minutes to go. Anything can happen. That's telling you about a strong upward momentum move, just as silver is, as long as it closes the day above 31.85. So if we go to the live charts, and I'm going to move over to my other screen. It'll take just a moment to do that. And we're going to look at four panels out here. And this is covering the S&P 500. So we got the cash index on the left-hand side. You can see now, folks, when, when a TD9 count pattern forms a top or a bottom, it can be either bar 8, bar 9, or bar, uh, the bar following uh, bar number 9. And it has to be, in this case here, for a high. One of those three bars has got to make the high. In this case here for the S&P 500 was the bar following bar number 9. So that's got a top. You can see the ES Mini, which we've just covered. That's got a top. If you take a look at the SPIs, that's got a top. And also the equal-weighted ETF. And that's for me, that's really important because when the equal-weighted ETF is giving you a topping signal, that is it's just an additional confirmation to what we're looking at. So that's in the S&P 500. Real quickly here, I'll switch over to this set of charts. Here's the Russell 2000. Again, no top here. And so that's that's kind of the perplexing thing for me. Do you see any kind of top in any of the tools that you've got for the IWM or the Russell? Well, you know, in fact, I want to it, I want to stay with the, the first one to do because you know it's cool because remember what had happened is that they had tops too, like a couple weeks ago, but it blew yeah. by them, which is important to understand, folks. As Steve said, they go by them, it's showing the strong. Now, can they go by them twice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Tom. Look for the show tomorrow, Steve. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.